Hello, this is Sandman signing on. This is another Meet the Fleet video, and this is my Drake Cutlass Black. Now, for whatever reason, right now, my stuff seems to be a little glitched out. I have two Cutlasses available to me. I have this one and the Best in Show. The one I usually fly around is my Best in Show, but I decided to show you just the base level Cutlass Black. Um, so, the Drake style, and if you remember from my previous, one of my previous videos, I did the Drake Dragonfly, so when we get up to the flight deck, you'll be able to see the similarities in MDF, but even the overall, just kind of, the lines of the two are very similar, it's, it's a very utilitarian, very stripped down thing, as a company in the lore of the game, Drake has a less than reputable reputation or, or a reputation for selling to people who are less than reputable i.e. space pirates and so but they'll, they'll sell basically to anyone so this is the front view of my cutlass inside that canopy is actually pretty amazing to look out of with this track IR. You got windows all around and up above. It's really neat. Armament wise, you have four size three hard points right there on the wings. Now they're all gimbaled, so they only have size two weapons on them. And that's the standard loadout is for them to all be gimbaled size two weapons. You have on the bottom here, two badger repeaters. I'm fairly certain that's what those are. And both my cutlasses have stock armament. I haven't upgraded them. And then you have two Mantis Gatling guns up at the top. Now, what it means with gimbaled is, is where I point my mouse while I'm flying or, you know, where I line up my reticle. Like, I don't have to be nose on to hit someone. And my, my weapons will track them to a certain degree. And so gimbaled weapons make dogfighting easier for some people with the setup I got going right now, I might actually just make my whole setup fixed on my Drake and just go to the Panther repeaters on the bottom, which are the size three of the Badgers, or the size three from the same series as the Badgers, and go to the size three Gatling gun up on the wings. So, and the difference between energy weapons and ballistic weapons is, is energy weapons 100% of the damage you deal gets absorbed by the shields first. So you have to strip their shields before lasers get through and start doing damage to the hull. The Gatling guns, the ballistic weapons on the other hand, it's depending on the shield depends on how much of that ballistic damage it absorbs at one time it's usually like a 60 40 split so 40 percent of the damage gets absorbed by the shield and 60 percent gets transferred to the hull i think or i may have it reversed not entirely sure i'm not real heavily up on those mechanics let's see if i can get up onto there i used to be able to jump up onto onto the wings and crawl all over this thing but i can't figure out how to do it anymore it's been a while but hey, in 314, they'll have a, uh, or 313, they're supposed to have, like, push carts. So maybe I can use one of those as, like, a ladder to get up. That'd be neat. They're supposed to put in ladders, too, but the push carts are, like, the first iteration. So, on the exterior here, aside from the weapons, the, the, the guns, anyway, you also have a turret with two size 3 mounts on it. And those are Panther repeaters on their stock. There are also a whole mess of missiles this thing holds. It's like 24 missiles is what you get. And I believe they're all size 2. Let me open up my vehicle manager and I'll actually show you the, the quick little loadout here. Now, the actual... They're size 3s. Size 3, size 2. It looks like I have a mix of size 2s and size 3s. So... The actual subcomponents are not, like, the best. Like, the Odyssey is not a particularly good quantum drive. It's not terrible. It gets me around. I fly over, all over the system with it. 
you get two coolers you get one power plant and you get one shield generator so those are those are what you get for stock components they're, they're all good it's a good starting point for like an all-arounder this thing hauls cargo dog fights it, it, it's it's a great starter you can actually use it for the mining loop which is what a lot of people get it for right now and i you will actually see how that works here in just a second honestly so you got missile racks these are size four missile racks got a bunch of them so you got six of them and like i said 24 missiles is what i got got badger repeaters you got panther repeaters I have no paint applied to the exterior of this because I can't. And so that's that's what it comes with component wise. I love the Cutlass. It is my favorite. It is my my favorite medium fighter slash freight hauler. It's my favorite all arounder. I, I if you were going to spend money to upgrade your base game package, or we're going to get a base game package that it, and Cutlass was an option i would 100 percent tell you get a cutlass cutties are awesome they they do everything they're they're rugged they look the part and to me they remind me of a drop ship in so many ways shape or forms like even even these little winglets here like you're looking at them they look like they're meant to be set down on the ground especially when you have the whole thing in this vtol format and that's that's the thing is my my engines your engines will rotate when you go to land uh, when you hit k is what the binding is for it and enter a vtol mode which allows you to to take off and land your missiles are stored right up there that's where some of your missiles are some of the others are elsewhere you got these doors on the side hence why i said this thing's like a drop ship like look at that it really looks like that this thing is meant to have the doors open on the side, the cargo ramp down, and you come in into a hot landing zone, lighting people up, and people just jump out and keep going. And granted, right now, this is like as low as you can get to the ground without snapping things off with the, the everything on there, but that's as low as I need to get. I probably don't even need to get that low to do an actual drop. So the side doors kind of sucks because you can't really use them from the ground. There are ways. I have once or twice been able to jump up into it. I don't know if it'll let me right now, but if I get a good running start. It's not going to let me. Nope. So. Yeah, it's kind of sucks. Usually the only time I get to use those side doors is when the terrain, like when I'm landing off a pad and not on flat ground and the terrain allows me to. So coming in the back here, you have six jump seats. And right now for demonstration and to show you how big this space is, I got to get Gray Cat Rock here. Now, interesting thing is, is those of us that I that work on C-130s like I, I have that we we play this game we do actually make a comparison if you've ever been in a C-130 like your cargo space is about as wide as the, the, the back of the ramp here that, that that's how wide it is and you fit a row of seats down each wall and then a row of seats down the middle and then the jump seats so you figure that's about as wide as as it actually is on the c-130 just this little space right here right and this isn't as long as the c-130 but you come up to here and it's doubled in size so for a lot of us we find the cutlass black to be similar cargo space here to a c-130 and that might be part of the reason why it holds a special place in my heart now there's these storage things that don't work these jump seats actually do work they pop down boop, boop, and you can sit in them i'm not going to do that right now but you can sit on them these buttons work open close lock 
you got system access you got all kinds of components and stuff back here I wonder what that's gonna be for in the future but there's all kinds of things and if you look it's a very utilitarian stripped down design some of this like these actually look like someone walked into the ramp of a C-130 and just took a snapshot of it to me the the pistons that are driving the door up and down so or the ramp up and down sorry the door is the part on a C-130 that would fold up and just gravity drops it down but yeah you got fire extinguishers all over this monster it holds quite a bit of cargo 46 SCU uh, right now I have a gray cat rock in here so you know how I said you'll see how it works with a mining loop this is how it works with the mining loop it is not a dedicated mining ship but you can fit one of these beasts in here and it'll actually fit right in this space here and it can it can live in this space right here and then what you do is you can open the back of this here your gray cat rock and you can take the minerals that you've harvested using the gray cat rock which I am going to do a video on the gray cat rock before 313 and the reason for that is is if they do a full wipe I won't have this anymore I'll have to work hard and buy another one in game they're not terribly expensive but this is why a lot of people recommend the cutty is you can fit two gray cat rocks in here or two cyclones in here but the gray cat is the big thing because the mining loop is one of the more lucrative gameplay and complete gameplay loops out there so all that can come over here you can open these doors these doors do open from the inside now you come along this side and you can access the flight deck and here on the flight deck you have two lockers I believe these actually do open at the moment yep but you can't put anything in them yet that should be actually coming later this year hopefully then you got a weapons rack which the weapons rack is functional I just don't have anything in there right now or well no weapons rack seems to be busted for me maybe they disabled it at some point but so you got the weapons rack then you got more storage here and these storage containers will are supposedly going to be usable then you got two bunks right here you can use these to log in and out of the game they're kind of nice emergency supplies batteries this is how you enter the turret right here we're gonna go up and here's the view from the turret now the multifunction displays here on the turret are very similar to the ones that you'll see down there but overall again like I said it's it's very utilitarian very stripped down it's like Drake in the lore has tried to market to the military to the I think it's the UEN but they haven't had a whole heck of a lot of luck now and so they just end up selling to whoever's willing to pay for their ships why won't you work for me weapons racks they were working and now they're not that makes me sad but you got a pilot and co-pilot seat so really this is a ship designed to have a crew of two to three it you can't operate it alone and you can operate it just fine alone but you lose a little bit of functionality out of it co-pilot seat you can't really do much flying from this position I can't I can't turn on and off engines I can't do anything like that you can help with some target lock and stuff like that I think you can fire missiles it it, it really just depends the pilot has a lot of that capability my co-pilot if I had one I put in charge of comms and countermeasures like just keep missiles from nuking us monitor our countermeasures I'll handle the flying and the shooting things down and if we had a third person throw them in the turret so 
my multifunction and heads up display right here you can see everything you get a lot of them actually in this in this ship usually you only get about four to five on most ships but this one you can see you have seven of them plus you got the indicators right there in the center and then you got your heads up display there's a lot of information here to process all at once it's it's a nice ship i love it and it's hands down probably one of the best beginner ships that i could recommend i really i really want this 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 speaker here or heater or whatever to have some functionality and i i want to slap a bobblehead on the on the front of my uh, on top of my mdfs there because i think that'd be fun but that is neither here nor there that is all stuff that might be coming in the future so we're going to exit this and like i said very utilitarian very good beginner ship and that is the drake cutlass black probably one of my all-time favorite ships in the game most of the ships that i have that i I've, I've paid money for like the cutlass the warden and the saber are my favorites in their class and it's the the cutty was not an intentional one i got it recommended i originally bought it as a stepping stone to get to a larger ship and ended up falling in love with it and deciding that i was never going to get rid of my cutty i can't wait till i get to name it because i'm going to name it i'm going to give it if it'll let me assign my own serial number to it i will assign a beautiful serial number that has all sorts of meaning to me and it, it, it'll be it'll be awesome i love my cutty so anyway Drake Cutlass Black, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sandman, signing out.